I am up bright and early and I am excited to go fishing. And uh, the reason I'm excited is because I'm going to one of my very favorite lakes and it's here in Alabama. And uh, I hope you guys can guess what it is. You probably won't be able to guess what it is. You're thinking, oh man, Joey's going to Pickwick or Gunnersville or, or something like that. But nope, it's not any of those lakes. It's actually Smith Lake. And I love Smith Lake. I mean, a lot of people don't think it's the best lake out there. And I mean, it's not for catching a bunch of big giant ones catching 20 plus pound bags, but they do live in there. Um, but Smith Lake has got so many fish in it and I've learned to love that lake over the years and my confidence is high in Smith Lake. So I'm ready to go out there and if by far the best time you could ever go to Smith Lake to catch a bunch of fish is April. So I've got a buddy named Trey Smith who comes down and fishes with me every year. He lives in Kentucky and he comes down and visits and fishes for a couple of days. And he's been doing that for you know several years now. We just have a blast out there on the water uh, we're good buddies and he loves to fish and Trey is a big swim bait guy. So he throws a lot of big baits, um, big swim baits. He lives up by Kentucky Lake and that's just like what he does. He's part of the, the swim bait craze is for sure is where uh, we're actually, actually a place that I learned some of my swim bait techniques and I do catch fish on big swim baits and I catch fish on teeny little baits, but uh, believe it or not, I do catch them on big swim baits too. So Smith Lake today is uh, where we're heading. I'm going to run over to Lakefront Motel and pick up Trey. We're going to go to Smith today and probably go to Lay or Logan tomorrow. So it's going to be a good couple of days of fishing and it's April, you know, first week of April, full moon coming and the bass are biting. So I'm excited to get out there. All right, here he is. What's up? The man with the stash, <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Trey. Oh man. So we got lots of stuff rigged up. This is the time of year when you can try new things, but the Ned Meeky, I got the Z-Man football Neds going, uh, regular shaky head with a big TRD and then this is that new line through treble head that uh, Six Sense is making with the big five inch diesel minnows on it. So Trey is a swim bait master. Yep. He's got, look at these things. He brought some whales to Smith Lake. Try them out today. Anyway. Which one's that? That's a uh, Hyper Shad from Swim Bait Garage. It's like a six inch slow sinking glide bait. Does that have red on its head? It's a, a it tracker there for like oh, up, weird. Uh, shallow when you have like dingier water and it's harder to see the bait. See, he's the swim bait. He's the swim bait guy, but <laughs> Smith Lake is looking pretty. It's a beautiful morning. There's a little misty rain, but we're just going to have fun and catch as many fish as possible. That's the goal today. Pulled up here in an open on this stretch like multiple years ago and I caught 15 pounds in one pass down it. I was like, dang, 15 pounds of spot just in like a half hour. Dang. We're on the board. Sweet. Spawn and mail. See him peeing? Yep. I'll put it down in a minute after you catch about I know. <laughs> five of them. <laughs> We're probably going to catch like a hundred of these. Today. I'm about to have to push it up already. <laughs> Look how skinny he is. But, Western, you know, out. Love it. I'm a big guy. Like, just like, don't make that. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. I couldn't imagine having like 45 on it. I got to travel up probably at least like two and a half. Oh, oh, he's big. Oh, that looks like a big one. Oh, he's still in it. Oh, got him! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he's not huge, but that was awesome. <laughs> That's sweet. That is cool. Dude. <laughs> on the glide. Spotted bass on the glide. Throw that one to the GoPro. Hold some to the GoPro. Oh, I didn't know. It's right. It was running. Oh, yeah. Sick. <laughs> that is really cool. That's a spawner, too. 
they got that mad. Oh, my gills got that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we probably could. I don't even know that she would want to do that. Oh yeah. It was obvious really quick that Trey and I were going to be able to catch a ton of fish going down the bank, and we were throwing the Seaman Ned rig. Uh, it was the Ned Locks one six ounce jig head with a finesse TRD, and then also the Z-Man Big TRD on a regular shaky head. And that's just such a good way to catch them in the springtime when they're spawning. This bite so much harder. Yeah, I've been crappie fishing a bunch. I, I actually went the other day because I have the live now. And it's yeah, it's fun so to live scope. It wasn't fun before. But once you have live scope, it's <laughs> And now she'll be like, it's a really big deal with this, you know, shelf rock fishing to figure out what part of the shelves the fish are on and how deep they're sitting. You know, it depends on water level, but I realized right here that a lot of them were sitting out a little bit deeper in that six to 10 foot range. And when the water's clear like that, that's how deep a lot of the spots will spawn. So we're just kind of figuring it out and getting more and more dialed. Well, there's a slot limit. You can under 13 and over 15. Trey has already caught one on the glide bait, as you guys saw. And now he's throwing my six inch draw a little bit. It looks good. But it's so hard to not just Ned Rig and shaky head him. We're getting a lot of bites on that new six inch line through. Tons of bite on the shaky head and the Ned Rig. A couple Ned Meeky bites. This is just a good time of year to be here. It really doesn't look overly big in the water, you know? Munching on sunflower seeds. Mm, here he comes. He's right on it. He's right underneath it. Mm. Gosh. They love to look at it. See him on the edge of the, edge of the shelf. He's on my Ned Mickey now. Oh, You're good. Go That's fine. <laughs> I saw him on the saw him on the little one and then or on the big swim bait and caught him. That's cool. So he was probably a spawner. the glide the gloida i have not seen we haven't caught a single pre-spawner yet you know everyone's either been spawn or post right. it's weird yeah. i think i can see one on that shelf right there flare yeah that's a spawner i bet he's like right there right off the one of the coolest things about you know, spawning bass fishing and spotted bass fishing, and especially on Smith Lake, is how patternable it is. So once you figure out what kind of stuff they're on, you can run it all over the lake. And Smith Lake changes a little bit as you go up into the rivers or the creek arms, as they call them, up Ryan Creek, Rock Creek, or the Sipsy. And the farther back you go, the more it changes. But I love fishing the main body stuff, you know, within five to ten miles of the dam. And it's just, you run these patterns and you get a feel for what's going on and you just keep on rolling with it and keep hammering them. Double. <laughs> 
right here was an awesome little transition for us. You know, the wind was picking up and it's all about switching and trying new things. And I really wanted to try throwing a glide bait. So I picked up a six cents glide bait and started slinging it. And almost immediately I got bit, which doesn't happen all the time with the glide. I mean, a lot of the time it's a lot of work and not a ton of bites. Um, but I was so happy to catch a glide bait fish on Smith Lake in that clear water. Right after catching that glide bait fish, I picked up the new Six Cents line through treble head. And if you guys haven't tried that thing yet or got on the, I think a lot of them are sold out now. And if you get on the back order list for these things, they are unbelievable. I'm not kidding. It adds more action to a basic swim bait than I've ever seen. And so I put the diesel minnows on the line through, threw it out there on the point and got bit. So we realized right then that the fish were starting to suspend and hover and feed. And these were post spawners that were out there eating. And I knew it wouldn't be long until we ran into a better quality post spawn female, which this was not it, but she was coming. seeing them floating around suspended, I know I'm about to hammer him on a dead binky. fish that we started catching were obviously to us they were they were post spawn I mean they were actually not bad fish pretty good quality and you could tell they looked like spawned out females and a lot of these fish get so fat at Smith Lake in the winter they would weigh you know two and a half to three and a quarter pounds but since they were skinny they didn't have the girth on them but they were out there feeding again and it's so much fun to see those post spawners not that long after they get done spawning it's quick it happens so fast and there were still fish all over the bank but there was also fish out oh i got two big ones out here got him yes finally one of those big ones What I've been looking at out there. That's all those ones that like rushed it. Look at him eating herring. He just spit up herring too. That's a post spawn female. That's pretty cool. This was really awesome right here. It's so cool to be able to double up and to have one fish suspended over 40 feet of water and the other fish up on the bank still spawning. It's just really cool. <laughs> that's cool doubled up so you caught <laughs> the male and I got the female <laughs> yeah. dude those girls that she wanted that thing look at that Ned Mickey look at that down the hatch that's crazy hmm. 
Nice ones though. That is a nice one. You want me to net her or you want to grab her? Pre-spawn. That one for sure. Look at it. She's got like a hump head. That's definitely a girl. We were about out of time for the day, so I just had to pull up to the bank and see if we could catch one more spawner. And but believe it or not, the Ned Meeky is actually an amazing bait for catching spawning bass, um, especially spot spawning, but even largemouth too, if they're not too close to wood or anything, oh, you're going to hang up right on. right there on that dark spot. <laughs> Look at how clear that water is. That's so cool. That's not a bad one. Beautiful bed fishing. That's cool. Trey. What's up? The swim bait master. <laughs> what do you think? It's a good day. Yeah, Smith Lake is cool. Yeah, it got slower towards the end after the sun got up, so this morning was really good. Yeah. I was happy to catch one on the glide finally down yeah, there. Trey caught one on that thing. What is that called? It's a hyper shad. Hyper shad. We caught them on the Ned Mickey with the set of jerk shads. Caught them on TRD tubes. Caught fish on regular Ned rig. We didn't catch one on a wacky rig, which was weird. There's that line through with the diesel minnows on it, caught some on that, caught some on that line through, caught them, had bites on a mag draft, I caught one on the trace glide bait, had one eat a, hit a spook, or that's the dogma, just got bit on everything, even had them chasing this big giant draw, they're hungry at Smith Lake, they're angry, there's so many fish spawning, but then you look out off these points and there's just suspended fish everywhere, so it's fun, Smith Lake's an awesome place.